Greetings, McWarriors. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is TTB. Good to see all of you today. Well, we have a conundrum here. Because we could either continue with the destabilization questline, part 3, and get a quick draw. Or we could listen to the other guy who says that our mysterious contractors are just a different company that's trying to destroy them. And we can get mystery rewards. Hmm... Mystery rewards. Well, let's see what it says. I'm contacting you anonymously so that you understand the full repercussions of your recent military activities. <laughs> You're contacting me anonymously so I can understand the full repercussions. Who writes this? I work for Quixel Incorporated, but I will tender my resignation when the situation is resolved because I learned that my company contacting you under the guise of Concerned Citizens of the Free Worlds League hired you to destabilize the region. Okay, now I understand what's going on. This whole affair arose due to Quixel's quick scales profit plummeting due to their continued rise of the Earthworks conglomerate within the Free Worlds League in an effort to bring our competitor low while hopefully opening the region to our own military hardware offerings. Quickscale hired you to wage low-grade strikes against Earthworks affiliated properties. In response to your attacks, Quickscale has already received a massive influx of defense contracts from several worlds in the region. Because of this, my company has likely already reached out to you with an offer to stage an additional attack that will further increase the region's demand for Quickscale branded military hardware. Okay. I cannot in good conscience allow Quickscale's ruse to continue because it is causing innocents to needlessly suffer. The people that your actions have hurt thus far, along with a collection of business people and aristocrats, have banded together and will front a modest reward if you choose to betray Quixel and serve justice to those corporations greed has hurt. Should you agree to help us, you will attack the local Quixel corporate offices to repay them for the dishonest business practices. Hopefully this strike will convince them to stop needlessly terrorizing local systems. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna go with the mystery reward because I don't really need another quick draw, so let's go. Mystery! Mystery reward it is, and we have to travel to Cameron to uh, raid. How about a battle max? Oh, we should maybe get our max uh, ready to get going once we land. Just, just an idea. I'll pair the Atlas. Everything is good. That flea will be sold. Let's drop him on cold storage for now. Boom. Okay. Let us set sail. Figuratively, to camera. Warp 9, engage. I know there's no warp in the Mech Warrior universe, but hey, it sounds funny. Okay, level 60 raid, wow. Okay, we just have to go in there and destroy everything. Alright, that much I understand. Uh, we can get some damage coverage and some salvage shares, but we are severely limited in tonnage. So, uh, hang on a second, let's just wait until our mechs are repaired. And let's check what we can bring here. So I have to drop 40 tons somehow. Which I could easily drop by just removing the Centurion. <laughs> yeah, that just happened. Um, I mean, I could go into the Stalker, leave the Battlemaster to Captain Nyx or something. Um, just have a little bit more tonnage and therefore more damage capabilities maybe I will do that yeah, I wonder if I should do that so if I jump into the stalker and I give the captain the battle master then we would have 20 to 270 tonnage perfect so um, I think that's going to be the plan here Atlas battle master stalker Cross your eyes and dot your T's. Cross your T's and dot your eyes. <laughs> I got that totally wrong, didn't I? Okay, well, it's alright. Let's go ahead and uh, do the raiding. I'm very, very apprehensive of raid missions. You guys all know what happens in raids. Fingers crossed for the better spawn mods to, uh, to uh, not get me killed here. Reactor also, online. fingers crossed we don't lose our atlas. Especially that side toss with the Artemis SRMs. And we're already getting shot up on. Okay. Let's see. Let's see where we landed. Okay, here we go. Some Harris is coming in. Oh, it's still far away. 
Either way, this is a great opportunity to do a little good here. All right, we have the moral high ground. Perfect. Perfect. And since we have the moral high ground, we can kill with impunity and a good conscience. That's what I like. Nothing alleviates a guilty conscience than being morally superior. Because you can use being morally superior to justify about any atrocity that you can think of. Uh, now remember guys, once we destroy that first uh, thingy here, that first area, the enemy is going to spawn a full lance upon us, and it's gonna hurt. So I'm just trying to destroy as much stuff here as possible before going in. Although, this building will probably get shot in a second. Ah, there we go. This is the guy I want to kill beforehand. Before we do anything else, we kill this hunchback. Because I don't want him to be part of the land that attacks us. And it's looking like we're doing a lot of damage to him. I wish I had thought of putting tag back in, but hey, you know, you can't have it all. Sometimes you just have learns without tag, but that is also fine. I would probably want to switch them to stream learns. Going a little bit hot here, just trying to kill a hunchback. Holy hell. Come on, Lurms, do your work. There we go. Now we go for the harasser. Put this up. Turret on my Atlas. Are you. Are you deaf or blind, dude? I got it! He literally just walked past two turrets and got shot in the back. I think the AI has a huge problem with um, switching targets or you shooting other targets when they have no primary target to shoot. Because if you give them a kill order, they will just walk towards it and shoot it, even though they have targets uh, on the way that they could easily take out as targets of opportunity. I think that's what happened here. Alright then. That's a... Uh, well, this objective is far away. Okay, never mind then. We're gonna go... We'll go right side first. Whatever. Clean up more ground. What? what are you shooting, dude? Target ah! Alright. That makes sense. Let's get the sweet hole. Bye bye, helicopter. Flop. Okay. Target down. Okay, there's our target down, and there should be yeah. a dropping coming right on top of us. Exactly what I said would happen, happened. Let's get to the open ground here. Ooh, and there's a hunchback right behind us. Let's take him down. And quick, because that is a... Ooh, AC-20, dude. Also something behind me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect. Now the fun begins. For real. From all sides. Don't you just love it when that happens? Okay, he's dead. Wow. They're all around us. That is, that is ridiculous, guys. Uh, I think we're dying here. Because I can't really deal with all of them at the same time. So many targets swarming us. Including a partisan here. Might just have to step on him to kill him. Okay, turn around. Whew, okay. Let's uh, try and kill these guys one by one and pray for mercy. Because otherwise, this is going to be a problem. Take away a side torso if we can. Come on, break off already. Yeah, stop orbiting me. Okay. Alright, let's see. What else do we have here? Come on. Oh, guys, you're so in the middle here. We're getting hammered from all sides. Ouch, ouch, ouch. What else can we engage here? That hunchback. Maybe kill him finally. Got him. Got him. Target acquired. LRM 40 carry, okay. Sure. Target Done. Now we can go on the quick drop. Keep shooting my guys in the back here. Oh dude, this is oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah, I see that you lost something. Okay, let's kill this guy. Now go for the hunchback. Which means we go backwards. 
because the Hunchback is here. Yeah, yeah, I see that you have got a burst fire AC20. You dirty heathen. How much stuff is there still here? Can we finally kill that 20 burst fire weapon? Holy hell. Ouch, 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 ouch. Is that it? Nope, not quite. Okay, one more. Finally! Okay, now we can kill the cicada. Whoa! Manticore behind our guys. Instant engage, no questions asked. Much more dangerous than the cicada. Keep falling back a little bit. Keep firing! Keep murdering! Have we sufficiently murdered it, finally? Okay, so let's see, what's Freeman lost? Oh, actually the, the SRMs are still intact, so that's good. And depending where Rihanna decides to pick us up, we might actually survive this. <laughs> How to um, really, really, really get three assault mechs scared? Well, just drop three entire lances around them. That was, I don't know. That's what we call a Hexenkessel in Germany. A witch's circle, or a witch's kettle. You're right in the middle. Okay. <laughs> We're not done, we just survived that one attack. <laughs> okay, I think that is the building we just killed. Let's get there. Get in and get out. All right, where's the pickup point? Oh. Good work, Commander. Okay. That's one less target. One more. Positioning on you, Commander. <laughs> oh God, no, no, not a turret. <laughs> if I get shot in the back once, I think I'm dead. Okay. Um, let's approach from here. Oscar Mike. Let's really go long range. I think the Battlemaster is my best guy to send. It's got the most health left. It's an SRM carrier, needs to go away quickly. Alright. What? More stuff from behind? Of course more stuff from behind. More random stuff from behind. Gotta love it. Hmm, I can't target it right now, but I'm just gonna go in there. I'm going to try to go in and uh, take it out. And then hopefully, I'm hoping for a pickup up here. Soriana. If you can hear me. Whoa! Okay, never mind. We'll talk later. Destroyed. Random turrets are random. Don't are you finally dead? Okay. Let's get in here. And get this building leveled. Fingers crossed for no more mechs. Because if there are more mechs, we are screwed. <laughs> Royally screwed. Oh, Rihanna. Like Rihanna. Rihanna. Rihanna, us. what are you doing to me? You're making me go back to the fight Don't zone. You can't be serious. I mean, she is serious, of course, but... You know. Destroyed. On the plus side, these guys are far away. So I can use my LRMs to take them down, hopefully. Target Target shoot, 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 shoot! Ah, okay, you go down. And the VTOL. Okay. It's raining fire and brimstone. Like my hatred for the enemy. Whew. Um, 500 meters. I'm hoping not to see 10,000 assault mechs once I crest this hill. And I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that's my dropship. Um, which it seems to be. Alright guys, it's time to limp on home. Wow, we really earned our paycheck this time. Also, sneaky sneaky. Target destroyed. No more sneakiness for you, good sir. Up him. Oh no! No! He killed the greenhouse. He killed the local hemp production. Damn it. Oh well. No more buzz for a while, apparently. So, just get to the burning building and... Inhale. Whew. That was a hard-fought victory. I'm so glad I brought the learn boat. Reputation 10. Expert. 1.4 million C bills in payout, we'll probably have 2 million in damages. 
Actually no, only 814k. So damage coverage almost covered half of it. And we can actually claim a Cicada here, which is not bad. There's some Burst Fire Ace 10s here, which we won't get, but they would be a nice option to take, actually. Um, what I will take is... I mean, I only have one more salvage share, so... I'm somewhat limited what I can take, but... Yeah, looks like it's gonna be another medium laser, as always. Ba-boom! 3.67... Nah, 3.7 million in Seabills uh, in salvage. Nice. Continue. And now let's see what we can get for our quest reward. And holy hell, Freeman. Oh, somebody got shot in the ass very hard. Me too. The battle master actually stayed relatively healthy, but yeah. The problem, of course, this time I can explain the back shots because this time we were right in the middle of it and we had like stuff dropping around us 360 degrees. That was brutal. But yeah, it seems like the AI does well in an atlas. So guys, if you don't do anything, if you don't know to do anything, just give the AI an atlas and they will do well. Beautiful. You've put a stop to Quicksell's corporate machinations, at least for now. Quicksell, like the most uh, like most powerful transnational corporations, is far too insulated to be completely run out of business within the Free World's League borders. However, Parliament will ensure the company is hit with hefty fines and Quicksell's leadership will be censured. Those penalties will cow them for the next decade, if not longer. As one final act of defiance, before I officially resigned, I submitted or forged the delivery papers for our next shipment from our factories to be delivered directly to your dropship. Feel free to ignore the final destination and enjoy your bonus on behalf of my formal employers. Okay, we get 1.5k reputation, we get 5 autocannon 20 burst fires, 5 autocannon 10 burst fires, 6 autocannon 5 burst fires, and 8 autocannon 2 burst fires, all of them tier 0. So this is just... Crap we can sell. Ah, oh, well. I should have known. But, I'll take it. Oh, we have to speak to Fahad. The story advances. Hey, boss man. Keeping me and the crew real busy lately. Glad to see the contracts rolling in. Like that. Doing a bloody good job too, gotta say. Just one thing though. You and your fellow pilots might want to dodge the enemy's fire a little bit, right? We're running triple shifts after some of these jobs. And, I know... I know you're doing your level best under the circumstances. I get that, I do, it ain't easy. All I'm saying is, try to bring the mechs home with all their limbs still attached. That's not too much to ask, is it? No, it isn't, mate. It's pretty bloody reasonable, I think. Well, there you go, some friendly advice on the house, Gov. Gonna get back to work now. Catch you later. Well, that's what you call the generic um, stand-in engineer representative comment don't break our stuff i think they could have done a lot more with fahad as far as the story goes especially developing him and his team like him acquiring new skills him um sourcing lost tech for you or something like that um lost opportunities but huge opportunities for modding once they finally release the mod packs let's have a look at our max here so um the battle master melted to slag but still 100 percent operational order uh, the Jaeger mech in pristine condition because it stayed home my mech yeah we took quite a bit of beating it looks like I actually looked down a furnace I looked down into the Hexen castle and survived and the Atlas well um, we're missing a side throw so I think and an arm definitely but uh, the important part is that our SRM 6 launches are still intact okay Rihanna hit me hey commander Thanks to Spears' people, we now know we're somewhere within Inferno's current sphere of operations. However, we still haven't been able to pinpoint the location of their base. What we have learned is the name of the man who killed your father, the leader of Black Inferno. Names Andreas Kane. Kane! He was loyal to one of the Kane. for a while, making a nasty name for himself. He was responsible for several massacres as well. Of course... That was before he struck out on his own and set up shop as a mercenary. After that, his trail runs cold. Unfortunately, that means there's a lot we still don't know, like how Inferno became as big as they are, or who their current benefactor is. Andreas Kane. When we find him, Rihanna, I'm gonna tear him and his mech limb from limb. I have no doubt, Commander, but we need to find him first. I've been scanning the comms, looking for any mention of Inferno activity. Not ten minutes ago, I picked up a distress call from a nearby port city. 
They have come under successive attacks by a mercenary group and are asking for immediate help. Sound familiar? Sure does. The distress call had this image embedded in the transmission. It's a map of the city and port. I think it's best if I drop you down here, just outside this farm. You can proceed from there into the main city itself and ensure that it's protected. The port is nearby, over here. That's where I'll pick you up once the city and port have been secured. Questions? Nope. Plan sounds good. All right. Get us where we need to go, Commander. I'll keep monitoring the situation. Roger that. So here's the question. If you know where she's going to pick you up in a mission like that, why can't you, for the random missions, just designate a drop zone before you drop? That way you would actually know where you get picked up. Or um, at least let basically let the player know where exactly the drop zone will be and where exactly the pickup zone will be. That would be very, very helpful and alleviate some of the uh, Rihanna, what are you doing kind of things. Okay, so... Uh, we've got another transmission coming in here. Lock and load. Ah, that's from Rihanna. Okay. That is our quest. We are going to drop near our farm on the outskirts of a city. Then we have to clear the farm, then proceed into the city itself, secure the city, and then we'll get picked up at the port. <sighs> a lonely farm being attacked by evil enemies, and we are here to swoop in and save the day. Does anybody smell a trap? I for sure do. For that, we have to go way up into... Where are we going? Way up into Steiner space, actually. Interesting. Interesting. Um, let's get to, go to Muskida and see what kind of hero mech is on the market. And then I also want to travel back to Steiner space in uh, this general area. Do a couple of missions before we take on the next campaign mission. So, um, let's see what we can find here. Also use that uh, chance to repair our mechs. Because uh, we've got a, a slightly... Um, bent out of shape atlas and so I want to repair them as much as possible um, which means fully by the way you can actually do partial repairs if you're doing multi-mission uh, contracts you can actually do partial repairs that's an Orion on sale God, does this thing come with a gauss rifle? it does come with a gauss rifle see the protector I would be so tempted to buy this thing but I know the AI is just gonna be very bad with it same thing with the marauder it's an interesting mech, but uh, I, I, have, I have huge doubts that the AI is able to handle it properly. There are just so few mechs that i found that the AI can properly handle. The Atlas, in my opinion, is the only one that really performs consistently well. If you guys found other mechs, like somebody mentioned, for example, the Thunderbolt, um, what the AI is really good with, let me know. So, we are going to sell, however, this um, Cicada, because I will never ever play a Cicada in this game. And there is the fleet that also wants to go home. Okay, now let's have a look. What kind of equipment do they sell? Anything interesting? Nah. Barracks? Meet you in the ready room. Oh! Captain Ulet! 46 skill! You're coming home with us! Red and ready, Commander! Absolutely! Oh, he's Russian. Maybe it's Moku. Okay. Alright, so we got that. Now... <laughs> See if I if I had the time, I would just go here to Deviant Space and I would just try to farm for an Urbi K9. Um, there's also more quests here. Lots of high reward quests actually. It's interesting. Maybe we travel this way and uh, see what kind of high reward quests are here in La Boucher and in uh, Colfax. And then yeah. Or. Let's see, this is level 10, level 10, 11. So these are higher level zones, so we should be having a good time here. Let's go to Ionos first. Oh, did I forget to repair my mechs? Not a problem. We're still in a star cluster, uh, in an industrial cluster where I can repair. So if you're shouting at your screen right now, you can stop shouting. I'm repairing. <laughs> that means if I don't get <laughs> distracted by another shiny object. Okay. Here, Battlemaster, repair, 152k. My mech, oh, we lost something. We lost a single heatsink in the CT. Well, that is an, that's an okay price to pay, I feel. Repair everything else. Now, here's the thing, guys. Hang on, hang on, let me show this to you. So, this is zero days of work, right? If I repair everything, it's 15 days of work. But, if I just repair partial stuff, like, for example, just say repair the structure, 
of the mech. I can just repair the structure if I want to. Or I can repair the armor. And so every amount of job that you put onto this will add or detract from the time that needs to be uh, put in for repairs. So you can get a mech fit for battle again um, in a multi-mission contract, but you might only be able to repair the armor but not replace a lost arm or something like that. Okay, and here's the atlas. Let's see what we lost. And we lost nothing! We lost a half ton of AC-20 ammo and uh, a couple of medium lasers, but that's okay. Like, this is absolutely okay what we lost here. I thought it would have been a lot worse. Let's get the medium laser installed here. Let's get the good medium lasers into the CT. Repair everything. 44 days. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> okay, let's check the market. Javelin, Hunchback, Orion. Nah. Nah. I also wish that you could set, like, your buying preferences and would just Ready, find sir. people, uh, find stuff in markets. Okay, there's no good pilots here. Let's go to... Uh, let's see, what's the, qu the quickest way to get to Labuschere and, and call effects? Um, probably via Shasta. So we go Laurelis, Midkiff, Shasta. We're going on a little shopping spree. And by shopping spree, I mean like, literally just window shopping. We're not buying much stuff, so... No perfume for you guys. Also no, no jewels. And no cute little teddy bears. We're just window shopping max. And if you're going shopping with me, you're going to have a goal when you're going shopping. No distractions. Also, the Banshee Grasshopper Hunchback. Um, there's also an AC20 Burst Fire for sale. That's actually a pretty good one. Two million C bills though. Do I have a com comparable model? Actually no. But I do have a I do have some good AC20s. And I do have the burst fire weapons that we got from that one factory. All the bullcrap. But it at least sells for a nice bit of money. Okay. Campbelltown. We could get some whiskey there. Okay, next one is Midkiff. Ah. Traveling the stars. Shopping for stuff. What could be more fun? Well, killing stuff, of course. I'm gonna keep going, guys. Don't worry. I wanna... wanna make sure that we get some more action here. See, there's an Atlas RS for sale. Now, that's a good question mark for me. Because the Atlas RS, you could do LRM-20, LRM-5, um, AC-10, and large lasers. Which would be a nice long-range platform. Unfortunately, I don't need long range. I need shorter range platforms because I don't want my guys to stand in the back. I want them to tank and fight with me. So, I haven't had good experiences with the Atlas RS yet. If somebody has, let me know down in the comments. But I'm um, as a AI mech, by the way. That's I'm talking about the AI mechs. Let's see. Oh, look at this. Forty-seven, Captain Diamond. Yes. Very nice. You are hired. Okay, uh, speaking about hired, Captain Diggs, uh, it is time to part ways. Captain... Speer. Speer, mach's gut. Cleveland. We don't really Cleveland, do we? Nah. Okay. Just reading out some pilots, guys, so that we can get our good guys to work, because these have high potential. I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna keep a couple of guys in reserve, but I think this is too many people. Actually, we can rem we can get rid of Burris and then of Doe. Okay, better. Less pilots, less money to pay, even though it's just ridiculously low in terms combined to what our mech maintenance costs us. But hey, every little bit helps. So, we've now confirmed that we can actually get an Atlas in Marek space. It's a weird Atlas, but it is an Atlas. If I ever find the boars, I don't need to buy that thing. But the problem is it's going to cost us 30 million C builds. But uh, it could be an amazing mech. Okay, let's check the market here. Awesome 8Q. Now, now we're talking. I think the Awesome 8Q is actually a solid AI mech. With triple PPC. So we're going to buy the Awesome. 6.4 million C builds. That's a bad banshee, guys. Don't buy that. One PPC, one AC5, and a small laser on a 95-ton assault pack. 
Hey. Large lasers are good. Lump 20 stream, lump 10s. No double heat sinks. Nope. Okay. Um, this Atlas is still being repaired, right? Yep, five days. And now let's go ahead and work on the awesome. Uh, first and foremost, before we do anything else, it needs to be beautified. It needs to be a beautiful awesome. Maybe we could go with a little bit of a uh, modified Steiner pattern here. We have to do this black. Make this yellow. And add a little bit of red in there. How about that? Well, a red, I said. Not purple or anything. Come on. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That doesn't look bad. Actually, the yellow is too, too neon. Less neon, more yellow, please. Hello? Maybe like this? No? This? That looks better. That looks less less neon night and more actually useful. Okay. Now, time to edit the loadout. You know, you know the first thing I'm going to do, guys, right? So, small laser is gone. Nobody needs that thing. And then, we will have to remove some heat sinks because we need to max the armor on this bad boy. Okay. Uh, then we have to repair everything, and then we have to allocate the armor properly. Uh, let's go with seven back armor for the awesome. I mean, seven, eight, six, it doesn't change a thing, guys. So here we go. Bup, 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 bup. At least I think it doesn't change a thing. And I'm going to swing up. Are these engine heat sinks? No, okay. Otherwise, I would have put double heat sinks in. Now, the awesome really benefits from double heat sinks, but unfortunately, we don't have them. So it is uh, single heat sinks all the way. And I'm going to put. So, one here, one here, and now we lower the legs a little bit. Three armor gone here, three armor gone here. Um, that left arm doesn't need as much armor. There we go. Triple PPC, awesome. Should be, theoretically, not a bad mech to play. Very accurate, very nice. Work started, and uh, we are now traveling over. Hang on, check the barracks. Whoa! Never mind, it's me. I was I was happy seeing 60 skill and I was oh, damn it, it's me. Yeah, these guys are just horrible. <laughs> damn it, I just trolled myself. Okay. Labusher. Set course. Now buying this awesome actually set us back quite a bit in terms of sea bills. So we need to make more money. So we can, we can spend more money. I'm hoping to finally get it at some point that quest where you get 10 double heat sinks. That would be awesome. Forceful negotiations for the Tamarind Mining Corporation. The Tamarind Mining Company has surveyed a selection of star systems near the Duchy of Tamarind and found high quantities of radioactive materials which are lucrative for mining and will improve the well-being of these systems. We have authorization from Parliament to persuade the locals to cede the rights to the land which sit apart atop the deposits. However, the land is populated with Star League era ruins. Plus, the locals have embraced the worst tendencies of Comstar adepts and their pseudo-religious ways towards technology and thus are fanatical of protecting their lands. A few raids against these lands to intimidate residents should change their perspectives and remind them what it could be like without additional protections we can provide. You'll likely find no worthwhile technology after all these centuries, but prospecting for lost tech is an excuse that should justify your presence in the ruins. All that we ask is to keep civilian casualties to a minimum. We are not in the business of killing for profit. No, you're just in the business of relocating people for profit. Okay, sure. Destroy the ruins, which is a raid mission. Okay, sure, sure. Level 75. Okay, what about my awesome? My awesome is ready. Awesome. How much salvage can we get? 16 pieces of salvage. Yeah, let's do it. 340 tons drop limit. So here's the thing. Here's the thing, guys. If we go ahead and lower the battle mass a little bit, hang on, let's use our good pilot. Which one is it? 7 out of 10. Captain Ulet will be in the awesome. And now we're 10 tons over. Only 10 tons. But if I give Captain Nix the Black Knight, we're good. It would be perfect. So I'll be in the stalker. Captain Ulet in the awesome. 
Freeman will stay with the Atlas. Although, later on, guys, you might want to switch the Atlas pilot to somebody who has the um, higher damage taken on the fire skill. And Captain Nix, I will probably switch over for Captain Diamond. Yeah, see, these guys can all take more damage. Um, Freeman, one reason why you might think that Freeman is taking more damage than other guys is because his highest skill in terms of uh, reducing amount of damage taken is 6, not 10. So keep that in mind, guys. Anyways, we're dropping, we're raiding. Apparently today is a double raid. After double smash follows double raid. We're basically raiders of the lost, lost tech. There's awesome. Hangar doors opening. Stand clear. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons I can hear fire going on already. All systems Seems nominal. like we dropped into a hot zone Repeat once again. Casualties against civilians to a minimum. So oh, bye bye, Igor. Scorched earth approach. We're trying to be a bit more surgical with our approach. Taking out the key communication towers may drive away any settlers from the neighboring areas. But be warned, it looks like you'll still be facing resistance. Yes, I like resistance. So here's the thing, guys. You need to be careful. I think last time we really got caught in the middle. I think we just took out, um, holy hell, elite LRM platforms. All right. That is taking quite a bit of fire. It's a triple learn volley. So last time I think we destroyed two targets at the same time, and that's what... Uh, almost broke the camel's back, so to speak. So, this time, let's hope we don't spring the uh, Harrison Ford water trap. All sorts of stuff, stuff behind us. One. Okay, never mind, not anymore. Um, I'm thinking... Can we go through here? Probably not, right? Nah, that's a, it's a canyon, so we have to go through here. Gotta approach this tactically and carefully, guys. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Although I'm happy that we finally have a full lens again. <sighs> That's just something about these uh, missions and those polar region regions that I just like. It's just so nice to look at. Another Harissa. This time a veteran. Oh! Whoa! What's that? That Incoming looks missile. evil. Oh, they just left me. Okay. Target I thought it would be destroyed. evil. Okay, Mr. Quick Drop, you gotta learn me, I'm gonna learn you right back. Only I have quadruple the amount of your missiles. So my guys are dealing with the stuff in the air, well, I will just focus on the Quick Draw to make his day a living misery. Make him rue the day he ever crossed me. Also, this guy is a potential problem, so let's go for the Rifleman first. Well, I keep learning the Quick Draw. His leg is still intact for some reason. Oh, the PPCs are flying. I'm blurring my ass off here. I only got one leg from the quick draw. System oh, shut down. Did we kill the quick draw? Nope. Also, I'm still taking all this fire. Even though I shouldn't be the one that has aggro because my guy's up up front. But well, let's try to get the leg of the quick draw here. Hopefully, kill him now. Yep, there we go. All right. So now we gotta be careful. Everybody, stay here. Target destroyed. I just had the target somewhere. How do I? Yo. Okay. Okay. Was it a target? No. Is that the target? Let's see what happens. Target destroyed. Was it it? Nope. Okay. Maybe we have to trigger it first. Oh, it's a manticore. What? Little ass hat. Okay, now it got destroyed. See, it's destroyed by my teammates. And there is a drop coming in. That's what I thought. Oh, we destroyed two at the same time again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Got a panther and a stalker. Whoa, look, did you see the accuracy on the AI with that? Ah, those were some amazing shots. I'm gonna go for the Manticore here. Target 
Okay, we got him. I'll go for the Panther. And set the guys after the Stalker. That was dead. Next one, you should kill him. There we go. Ooh, helicopter's coming in. And now we go for the Stalker. Or maybe not. Maybe we go for the Scorpion. So the AI actually switches targets if there is other targets of opportunity available. Interesting. So, I stand corrected. We just saw it with the Atlas. They had a kill order on the Stalker and they switched over to the Igor. Which was the right choice. Because it was an easy kill. Okay. Let's get it closer. Is it weird that I think the AI, like sometimes it works perfectly and does good stuff and then sometimes it just, or a lot of times it just seems like it's just AFK? Mm -hmm. I think the biggest problem is consistency here. You cannot rely on the AI to do the right things. But um, I like to have the awesome with us, even though the awesome will not tank at all. It must always stay at longer ranges, so you gotta be careful where you put that thing, but if you keep it with you and you do intelligent attacks, then the awesome will take away a lot of the long range stuff very easily. Especially if you give it like ERPCs or something. There is our radio tower. Let's see, can we find it from here or do we have to get closer? Okay, Target never mind. Annoying little turret. Let's get our guys over oh, here. I'm just gonna go in there alone. Enemy take destroyed. this down. Yep, we killed something, okay. Some more helicopters here. Okay. Oh, hello. Yep. We're gonna go for the quick draw here. Did I even hit him? Can't tell. Let's get this cover. Whoa, he's got friends. He's got friends. Go for dragon first. We got a little AI meds. This should be an easy and fast kill. No target of opportunity, a little bit too far out. It's a problem with small lasers. Okay. Objective is down, now we go for the quick drop. Oh, beautiful. More, more. Shoot him more. Yes, and the PPCs are flying as well. Ah, city is almost dead here. Which is good because we're hit critical. Come on, fall over. Fall over and die already. Okay. Now we can go for the Igor. One down, two down. Where's our pickup point? Ah, not too bad. 700 behind us. In the area we already cleared. I like it. The only guy that took some damage was Freeman, but this time it's only armor damage. So this is a really successful mission so far. That's a little bit overkill for that little turret, but hey. Itchy it's finger finger. Ah, Rihanna. You're a sight for sore eyes. Even when surrounded by a hundred tons of metal. A couple hundred tons of metal. Also, hero helicopter. <laughs> and he takes a tumble. Boom! And dive bombs his own base. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to prevent us from escaping here. I'm gonna kill one of your buildings out of spite. Ah. Payday. It's the best day. Let's see what we get. I think we played this pretty well. Like this, the second raid was a lot better, more tactically sound than the first one, I think. It's a long loading screen. Here we go. 1.4 million C bills, 800 reputation. And we get a free quick draw in this mission. Nice. Uh, some medium lasers in here, some flamers and whatnot, but no double heat sinks, so not a problem. I won't take those. I will just take the quick draw in payment. 4.7 million in salvage. Uh, 300k damage taken. That's fine. See, we, we went max salvage and it was absolutely worth it. 
absolutely worth it. Fun fact, the quick draw is even worth more than the Rifleman, who uh, would have cost us 90 shares. Let's see, damage dealt. Actually, the awesome outdamaged the Black Knight. But as I said, if you look at the damage numbers here, or at the damage taken, you can clearly see the awesome, due to his range, it stays behind a little bit further. Black Knight gets in a little bit closer because he's got medium lasers, so he will go ahead and close the distance and will tank, whereas the awesome will stay back. Very important to understand. Okay. Finally, we did a nice mission. Let's have a look at our awesome. There it stands. In all its beauty with the triple PPCs. That's gonna be a fun mech to have, and it's gonna be solid for the AI. Not amazing, but solid. And I definitely want to get another Atlas for one of the AI to brawl with. But um, we're looking to that in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up if you haven't done this yet. Leave me a comment uh, on all the various questions I posted or, or stated during the video. And of course, if you want to support me in making more of this content, check out my Patreon page, link down in the description below. Have a great day, guys. Take care and bye-bye.